Got one. There we go. Oh! Oh! Look! I see Mike and B. There he is on walleye opener. Not medium. Not medium. Not medium. Not medium. Not medium. It's not happening. Not medium. No. No. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel everybody, Fish Brain Chain here. I'm about a mile away from the Lexington exit off of 35W. I'm stopping to pick up Mikey B on the way down to see my oldest son, Alex. And uh, we're going down to New Ulm, Minnesota. We're gonna be just outside New Ulm and we're gonna be doing some bait fishing, catching our own bait, which I absolutely love, what a fun time. And then we're gonna go fishing for some walleyes in a spillway kind of river little area that uh, I've actually featured on another video. And I'll put the link to that video down below the last time I took a road trip down here. Um, but I'm just about to get off this exit. Like I said, I'm gonna go see uh, Mikey B and pick him up. So let's get over there and get him. What do you think? I see Mike and B. There he is on walleye opener. You know, I don't miss a walleye opener with that guy. Actually, we've been, I was just thinking about that on the way here. We've been to every walleye opener together pretty much since we've known each other. Might as well get out and see how he's doing. What's up, Mikey B? How you living, buddy? Man, I'm doing well. You ready to go fishing? I am. All right, man. How you doing? I am ready to go fishing. So you know what? Let's get this uh, road trip started. I got Mikey B here. We're gonna get his stuff loaded up. And uh, Fleet Farm's over there and the music is right there. Let's go fishing, let's go fishing. Let's go fishing now. Just a piston and in the workings of engines with my pen down for a second and up watching it as it trembling Cause I've been trembling, look around and I'm feeling frightened Put my head down for a minute, pick it up and then watch it like Pretend it righteous and realize that my evil just be something that's a part of me Partly I'm keeping see through So you can watch your bits and pieces when I eat you and see We made it to New Ulm, Minnesota Check out that river down there See how awesome that is? We're not fishing that. We're picking up my son here in New Ulm. His house is just down the way here through this closed road. But I got L, a four wheel drive, oh. So I'm okay. I wonder where Mikey B is. Mike, where you at, Mike? Oh, he's, <laughs> oh, hey, he's in there. Now, New Ulm, we were just talking about home of Grain Belt Premium. If you haven't tried Grain Belt Premium, this is not an ad for them, but this is an endorsement. Love, love, love Grain Belt Premium. Right, Mikey? It's amazing. It's amazing. Look at Mikey's shirt, man. Ooh. Yeah, you know yeah. where you can get that stuff? It's in the description. See? In the description of uh, every video right down below is a link to my merch store. And that is one of the ways you can help support me. It's also pretty cool stuff. Hopefully you like it. And uh, I'm gonna keep coming up with other designs. So talk to you later. My man, good to see you. Good to see you. This is my boy. He's gonna put me on some fish today. He's guaranteed me a 27 inch walleye. So 30. I'm pretty excited about that. 30. 30. 
No, I'm just kidding. The guarantee is actually for a 30. I didn't, I didn't realize that. So. No, we were, last time we were down there, a few of them, so. How long ago was that? Um, it's been a while, uh, hasn't it? A few weeks, yeah, probably. Yeah, it's yeah. been, it's been quite and, a while. And sometimes they're in there and sometimes they're not, so it is walleye opener, but you guys, we're just after fish, right? Yep. We're gonna go have some fun. Anything. We're gonna catch some walleyes, though, right? Oh, yeah. it's, he's promised me walleye, so we're getting them. All right, we're following Alex to the bait spot here. It's just a little kind of off the side of the road spot. Um, it's a cool little creek, and there's just all kinds of little bitty fish in there. Fall fish or creek chubs, um, bullheads, little baby catfish looking things. There's some really cool stuff in there. Green sunfish, um, just all kinds of stuff. So anything that's legal to use for bait, we're going to go get it and uh it's gonna be pretty fun Ooh, this is the spot right here man there it is oh cool it's parking uh a little at an angle there just a little bit all right last one to catch a fish is a rotten egg you don't need much worm you say all oh, they're in here yeah, they're in there. all right this has got a right hand reel on it for some reason got it from you there we go. First one, look at that. And it's a beautiful size, look at that. That is a great size, isn't it? Beautiful, yep. Natural bait. Yeah. Oh, there's one right there. Got him, yeah. I just got a little ice jig on. And uh, that's a medium size one compared to the other ones that oh, yeah, we caught. That's, good. that's perfect, honestly. It's a great size. Yeah, perfect. See, I'm, I'm perfect. <laughs> According to Alex. I was going to try a fly on one. I already got it. Yeah, but it's super sensitive, you know? Mikey's going opposite, everybody. I'm going Go figure. Oh, look at I got one. Nice. Man. Nice. That's another big one. Look at that one. Holy cow. <laughs> Fun little guys to catch though on these little ice rods. Thanks for bringing the ice rod, Alex. Appreciate it. And you don't need much worm. <laughs> oh gosh. And they still flop out of your hands. There's a big one. Get in there. We got a bubbler going in the uh in the bucket. Got the water right here from the creek. And uh just a little bit of worm. Ice rod and a little ice jig. Catching bait. Cast out the gin. All I got is questions. I ain't ever hold no answers. Bet you sick of hearing lessons from a dude who got no handle. Yeah, all I got is questions. I never hold no answers. Bet you sick of hearing lessons from a dude who got no handle. Someone say me, tell me what to do. I think I'm going crazy. Someone take these problems out of view before they go and hang me. Someone save me. Everything up in the air and I can't stand to hang. The end is not, the end is not, the end is not. Says the friendly guy I see in puddles of water that filled with COVID-19. Team was a strange year for me. I sold myself up on his screen so I could put my weed and escape all of my dreams. Go somewhere else, anywhere I felt would do as long as nothing felt. Sit for a buzz, I probably needed a hug. Built a pattern instead, I made the pattern my friend, and we still hang it out. He introduced me to his clique, that's where I bonded with doubt. And made a pack with self pity and shouted out to the city that I'm lost. Someone get me before my demons get rid me in the shreds of a man. Where do I head? Got no plan. And I Thought that was fine for a while Then I remember that my thoughts isn't wine They get vile with the passage of time I think my crying is ugly But must think wine and divine The way I do it in rhyme Like this a piece of my mind And not a piece of the trash All this whole piece of got bad Bojack probably my dad Yeah, there's a little hole over there I fished it This was full of catfish last time I was here Oh, I got one. I got a fish. Oh, what was that? I think that, was a northern. that looked like a northern. 
Ooh, let's get another one. All right. Uh-huh. It was long and white bellied. Got one. There we go. Oh! Oh, look. Wow, that was a good fish too, you guys. Ooh. Oh yeah, here we go. Got one? Yep, I do. Mike's on. Oh yes, what do you got, buddy? Well, oh, that's a big fish. That is a big fish. Oh, oh, that was awesome. Look at my minnow, dude. Let's get back out there and get these son of a guns. Me and Mike have both hooked up, but it's been kind of a short bite. We might, we might have to switch tactics here to get them. Oh, here you go! Holy! Oh, shit. Mike's got one. Nice, nice northern man. Oh, that's a big fish. Five pounder, maybe six pounder. Woo. I'm gonna get out of your way. That's a big fish right there, buddy. Yeah, man. Bring it in. We don't have a net, do we? Nope. We have a will to survive. Yeah. Good one, Mike. Sprung at the hook. Good one, Mike. Yeah, buddy. That away. I don't know. Nice job, Mikey. Oh, 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 oh dude. <laughs> <laughs> in my... Come on, Mike. Just wash him off, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh, it's gone. Dang. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Good job, buddy. Way to catch a good one. Like I said, I might throw a rocket bobber on and hook one with a plain hook. Got one. There we go. Nice little northern. Got him. All right, well, we're getting some fish. And I got a feeling we're in for another... I'm going to be smart. <laughs> so I don't get mudded up too bad. Oh, and that minnow is still good too. Yep. Nice. Good to get a fish. Get the skun skunk off. Oh my gosh. And he has to get in the mud. Oh my gosh. And I get splashed. Oh, well, there you go. That's what they're doing today. They're splashing us. Nice little northern. <laughs> I'm going to get them back in. And uh, we'll get out there and get another one. Bye. Tried to splash me on the way away. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, There's a fish. Yeah, All right. Thank you for pointing it out, Mike. Yep. Wow. That's a nice northern, you guys. Real nice fish. That is a good fish. Look at that pretty fish. We're gonna have to let that thing kind of work its way out a little bit. Yeah. Nice one, dude. Get it in. Perfect. Yes. There you go. Nice. We were thinking about keeping one, and this is a beautiful size to keep. I don't know if I'm actually gonna keep it, but that is a pretty fish right there, you guys. Now, I'm not gonna mess around with it. I'm gonna grab out my multi-tool and just go ahead and Bruce Lee this shite. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, Bruce Lee. I've been sitting here thinking about this because we're they're kind of acting lazy. You know, we're throwing jig heads. We got those live minnows but they're kind of acting lazy. So I was wondering if I put a bobber on, if they would actually get after it and uh, bite and sure as shooting, they did. So what a beauty. Looks like she's got a battle scar or two right there from the spawn. So I'm gonna go over here by Mikey B. It's kind of soft right here, so I'm gonna be really careful. And I'm gonna let this fish go. It looks like he dropped his uh, sweet tarts right there pick those back up on the way let's go mama you go back in there you go bye Mike has the rattle reel set up over here he's got a uh, creek chub on it yep. nice, size nice. and uh, it he's gonna toss it and see what he gets I think we got enough line we're just trying to get out here about 15 feet boom yeah right in the middle Looks like I got a new subscriber, Dante Russell. And Mitch, looks like he commented on another one of my videos. And 
Let's see here. Shadow Slash She Wolf, new subscriber. And Bobby Star, new subscriber. Um, Eric Simpson, new subscriber. I'm not sure if I've re if I've mentioned some of you before, but if I have, you got mentioned a couple times and thanks so much. I appreciate it. Oh, here we go. Right away? I just missed one and now Mike's on with the rattle reel just as soon as he puts it out. And is he gonna be able to get this in? It's on four pound test. Four pound test. Letting her run. Holy cow, man. Okay. It's actually good that my hands are wet because the line's kind of slipping through and I can just let it, uh oh. Woo. She wants, it. this feels like a big fish, man. Four pound test. Oh my gosh. Have it hooked right in the lip of the mouth would be perfect. Wow. That is so crazy. It's like a rodeo, man. This bull just wants to run and there is, oh my gosh. Come on up, baby. At least show us what you are. Show us what you are. Come on, you are close. We just want to see you. We don't need to hold you. Oh, you need to we hold it. We want to, we want to. Come on up so we can see you. It's gonna be right here. Is that a walleye, dude? That I don't like know. A freaking walleye. That looks like a walleye, man. That's a northern. Decent sized yeah. northern, especially oh for God. hand lining. What the heck? There oh, you go. Twisted. Oh, hey baby, no, no, don't break out. Way to ease it in, Mikey. That away on right the there. rattle reel. Oh, four pound test. Look at how thin this line is, everybody. And Mike just pulled out a nice little northern. Just We're gonna get that jig there. out of its mouth. Holy yeah. cow. <laughs> Let's get it going, man. Oh. Good job. Anyone else use a rattle reel in the summer? I've never heard of it, man, but it is awesome. It's pretty fun, pretty exciting. All right, you gonna let me hold you? Wow. It muddied up our water a little bit, but. So what? That's a nice fish. Cool, huh? Yeah. All right, we're gonna let her go. She's been through enough. Couple battle scars on her. Yep. All right. Might be a him too, I'm not exactly <laughs> sure how to tell, but. Man, bye bye. That was cool. That way, Mikey B. Oh. <laughs> All kinds of cool action today, you guys. That was a lot of fun. Me and Mike and Alex down here, my oldest son, my best friend, down at this awesome spillway that we've been uh, fishing at every or all day. And I wanted to give you a view that way because of how beautiful that is. And we've been able to see that a lot today, but you've been looking a lot at the tunnels, the spillway, because we've been fishing over there. So um, thanks for sticking around today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your subscription because it's absolutely free of charge. And you know what I say? Fish brain chain out.